Acres Paul Macbeth Foundation Play with the Champs. We have a full slate today. Um, the format today is best shot doubles. So our four, five pros, including Bert, will be paired on each hole with one of you. Um, you can purchase raffle tickets still. Some of you purchased a guaranteed ticket. Thank you so much. Um, all of the proceeds today go to the Paul Macbeth Foundation. If you don't know what Paul's foundation is, the foundation tries to put uh, disc golf experiences and courses all over the world in underserved areas. And so that's been Paul's mission. We put courses all over the world, from Colombia to Guatemala to Mexico to right here in Detroit. Liberia? Not Liberia yet. Okay. So Uganda. We're working on it, guys. <laughs> um, and so where's Paul at? Paul's. So Paul, his foundation has been um, near and dear to him. I'm the. I volunteer as, as the chair for the foundation. This event should raise ten thousand dollars. So please, if you want to play a hole with one of our pros, um, come find uh, Jamie right here, and he'll get you a raffle ticket. Some of you who did a guaranteed hole, um, you're going to get to play a hole. Uh, so Paul will be playing holes one, three, and one. Um, and Anthony will be taking over for Paul on the other holes. <laughs> that is the format of the players we have here today. We have beautiful. our defending <laughs> champion, Calvin Heimberg. <laughs> we have two-time world champion, Katrina Allen, right here. <laughs> we have two-time PDJ major champion and two-time disc golf pro tour champion, Chris Diggerson. <laughs> Six-time world champion, Paul Macbeth. We have the coolest guy in disc golf, Anthony Barella. And last but not least, we have the machine, Burt Kreischer. And what have you gotten yourself into? <laughs> this is a big mistake. <laughs> Hey everyone, I want to let you know today's video is brought to you by Element. Being out here in Texas, it gets plenty hot, so whether I'm playing pickleball or disc golf and I'm sweating a bunch, replenishing electrolytes is key. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. Element can help prevent and eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, fatigue, sleeplessness, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency. Element's tasty flavors can also be used as a cocktail mixer and can help with the hangover. And right now, Element is offering a free sample pack with any purchase. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. It's a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a friend. To take advantage of this offer, just go to drinkelement.com slash Jomez. This is totally risk free. If you place an order and you don't like it, you can give the rest to a friend and they'll refund you no questions asked. So go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Jomez to get started today. Thanks once again to Element for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get back to it. I'm going to turn it over to the voice uh, of D-Glow here, Mr. Mark Canada. Mark, uh, take it away. First off the box, playing with Paul McBeth, Edwin Downs. Oh, well, he's a gamer, everybody. I see the rosin. Edwin was shaking his head as he was walking up to the tee. Someone called him a shooter, and he said, I don't think uh, that's my name. <laughs> All right, here we go. Backhand coming up. He really needs oh, to turn yeah. this over. It's not it's going to happen. It's going to fade out of bounds. Turn, 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 turn. That's all right. When you got the sixth time on your team. Sixth time, and he's won this uh, event a few times, right? Paul's won here many times. He's got the 18 under round. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. Paul McBath. One, one of the most famous <laughs> rounds of all time. <laughs> That round was particularly impressive because this course requires so many different types of shapes. You can't just get comfortable throwing one type of shot. You have to throw forehands and backhands, anhyzers, hyzers, straight shots, so on and so forth. Yeah, exactly. He lets that a little low turning. It should be inbounds, I think, um, which is a quality shot yeah. considering his partner's 400 feet out of bounds. Where do you see me attempt to do what he just did? Well, also, uh, Paul is actually dealing with a bit of a shoulder injury right now, so uh, he's going to be playing an abbreviated amount here. Gerald Jasinski! Gerald, right? Gerald Jasinski. Jasinski. Spell that. There's three J's and four Z's in that one. T-H-A-T. 
Middle school bus humor. I like that. That, is, that, that might break a record for the <laughs> highest shot thrown here on hole one. That is actually not a bad approach for 17's basket. <laughs> That's okay. We got oh, Trina going with the sidearm. Not particularly a shot we would see her throw. But I think this is just a play to get in bounds, and that looks yeah. Really great. That's in play. <laughs> this basket is elevated, so maybe Gerald, with his uh, tendency to throw high, has a good shot of making the next shot. Danny Scott. Very, very easy name to spell. Danny Scott. Also going. Looks like he's lining up the backhand turnover. See if he can get the height or the turn right this time. I like it. This guy's serious. It's over. Yeah, it's not going to be out of bounds on the left. Nope, that's a new one. One of the things that's right. really tough for especially amateurs and pros alike is when you have a downhill hole like this, you really want to aim down. Throwing it straight out, you're going to have the tendency to go way left or way right. See how that was driven, starting high but nose down the whole way. That's driven back to the basket. That's going to be a good result. Nice slice. Next up, playing nice slice, Calvin Heimberg, Brad Herr. <laughs> well, no, kind of did. Bert Bert Kreischer calls Anheuser's slices, so I I just wanted to compliment Chris Dickerson's slice. <laughs> That's a good nickname. Oh, this is oh. going to be cut rolling back inbounds, I'm calling it. The slicey laser. Next up, Calvin Heimberg. This particular shot for Calvin no. last year actually won him the tournament. Let's see if he can draw something similar. That's gonna, yeah, it's going to be low and short. Chris might, got, might have you. Paul's asking about CTP right now. I don't think we award any prizes for CTP, but there's a lot of personal pride going on right now. Next up, playing with Bert Kreischer, <laughs> Benjamin <laughs> Pears. Let's go, guys. Woo! Got this. Woo! Got this. Pros my right. Let's do this. This is so much for made everyone. Up. He's wearing the shirt just so you know, and it looks good. Can he get it nose down? I'd have, to, oh, I'd have to imagine that That's my partner! Bit, he's a little bit nervous. I would be. That has gone out of bounds. A lot of pressure now on Burt Kreischer to step up and throw the shot. That, this would be the most people have ever witnessed him throwing a shot in his life. Yep. Thank you, Man guys. of the hour right here. Let's see what he's got. I'm just really wanting him to throw it good because who knows the language that will follow. Oh, me. <laughs> Did anyone see where that went? And, well, you know, there we go. We, I kind of felt like maybe something, something uh, around there might be. Oh, no, thank you. No, it's not. It's the disc's fault. Yeah, let's throw this one. I'm fucking throwing another one. You the two? We're not playing for money. Here we go. Here we go. I saw you do it. And by the way, you can give me notes. I'm cool with it. A little more wrist. Thanks. <laughs> A little more wrist. Yeah! There it is. There it is. Oh! Actually, like, objectively pretty good. <laughs> we were waiting for that. <laughs> more wrist, more wrist. It's always good advice. Oh, man. It's the one time that I think uh, Bert Kreischer is actually playing mob golf that he's actually cool with. I, I imagine anytime he does go to the course, it's got to be a place for him to actually get some nice relaxation and kind of get away from things. But how can you when you're as big of a superstar as he is now with all of his Netflix specials and comedy specials? I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's got to be hard to get some nice peace and quiet every once in a while. No, without a doubt, without a doubt. The fact that he's here is just an absolute pleasure for everybody here. That's why everybody came out today um, to, to see the shirt come off. <laughs> it didn't take long. <laughs> it didn't take long, which is 
honestly amazing. And we should probably note, I'm Paul Uliberry, joined by Jeremy Coling for the commentary today. Um, I'm going to have to leave here in a little bit, and then you'll just be having uh, the big guy. But we have a lot of uh, discs to round up right now. Wait, are you commentating right now? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Hey, what yeah. do we call the thing we throw the discs into? Those are called pole holes. Pole no, holes? No, they're not called pole <laughs> holes. Can't wait to get a couple holes. Nobody calls them that. They're actually, we just call them baskets. Okay. Yeah. Or, Sizzling. you know. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm glad you went. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Right there. All day, every day. Not even sponsored. <laughs> do I need to throw? You should. Try to make it. Try to make it. Oh, oh. Oh, I should try to make it? Three bit. Three bit. No. <laughs> How many discs do we have in this bag? Oh, somebody found it. Oh, somebody found your first one. That's incredible. Thank you. I'll, at the end of the day, I'll sign this and give it to you. I'm going to try to lose it a couple more times. Okay. <laughs> Just really nice to see somebody be authentically themselves, regardless of what other people might think or say. Yeah. And that might not be more uh, exemplified by any person I've ever met than Burt Kreischer. He is exactly who you think he is. Oh, it's really far. Yeah. So, Katrina? Uh, yes? Right? Uh, just out of curiosity. Hello, if I'm If Katrina. you were playing in a tur I'm, I'm Bert. I'm so sorry. Nice, to, nice meet to meet you. you. Beautiful forehand. Thank um, you. In a, normal, in a normal round, would you just lay up for oh, that? Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. for real? Well, because there's out of bounds right behind. So then you're, if you don't make it, then you're costing yourself a lot of strokes. Yeah, have you found Chris's yet? No. What color is it? Oh, we can wait. Oh, up outside the circle, they said. That one of the things I really like is that his, his appreciation and his passion for the sport is so far away from his understanding of the terminology. The guy just does not know what a hyzer or anhyzer or any of the specific terms are. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, so we are down to one team left who can capture the, the birdie here on hole one, and it's Chris Dickerson and Danny, oh yeah, easy, Danny Scott. Lining it up. Cool moment right now for Danny. Give it to him. That is so cool. Right there, first hole. Knocking down the big birdie with his partner's drive. That is an awesome moment for Danny. Yes, it is. <laughs> Which one? Won't be on the recording. All right, we got a couple tap-ins coming in, even though I don't think they have to. I don't know. Since it's best shot dubs. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's per hole. Right? It's all pride. There's no, there's no, there's no like, a, is there a cumulative score online? I don't really think so. There might be. There might be, but this is just fun for the fans. Pretty good putt. Honestly. That was a good putt. You don't see the two-handed putt technique used that often, but when you do, it's uh, it's good to see. He's a holly. Yes, sir. That's up there, and it is going to be left side fairway. We can work with that. Very good shot. Very good shot. All right. Oh, come on. Cat goes roller. It's a little bit overcut. High grass is going to gobble it up, but it's going to stay in the middle. Yeah, that's a good shot. <laughs> yes, I love that. Full, we've got plaid t-shirt and cargo shorts. Full dad attire. I love it out here. Rock and dad power. Over ripping the shot. That was awesome. Good shot, buddy. Chris Dickerson also trying. Well, that wasn't a, a roller attempt. That was just left side turnover. It turned out to be a cut roller. It's fine in the fairway. Donna is going to be in the fairway. Center cut. Center cut. Good job, Donna. Everybody I think Calvin's going to lay up here. Calvin's going to send this so far. <laughs> 
watch this. Oh my we god. We need to check for PEDs. <laughs> that is ripped. Jesus. Launched. Come on, would you? Aaron Sticker. All right. Yes. I love it. I love it. Stripe it down the middle. <laughs> Perfect sandhill crane form. Right down the middle. So now I can just really just go yeah, after Yeah, just it, be huh? very careful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I would uh, Maybe have a tendency to go right, guys. Aim a, aim a click left. <laughs> think. I'm going to throw it so far left now. <laughs> That's good. That's actually a go. good thing. <laughs> Yes. Okay. We've avoided. <laughs> oh, the left. Hey, where's the guy who got my last disc? Maybe. Yeah. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Two off the tee? No. Playing with Anthony All right. Hey. Adam. We went forward. That's great. Yeah. Over the spectators, trusting it on the right side. That's going to work out oh, really good. Really good. Nice. Right in the middle. Right oh, the wow. Middle. Hell yeah. Feel it. Come on, AB. Bert, you think, you think Calvin's went far? Anthony Barretta. What the f***? <laughs> Shut the f***. Oh, dude. What the f***? <laughs> that caught the tree. <laughs> Hey man, it was good meeting you. <laughs> we should hang out more often. Good God, someone walked into the shower confident. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, here's what's hilarious. Anthony introduced himself. He said, hi, I'm Anthony. He said, nice to meet you. And then after Anthony threw, <laughs> I think they want to be best friends. <laughs> That was, uh, honestly though, that, that might be the longest I've ever that seen. That might be the video. longest drive I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the longest Unbelievable. screen I've ever seen. Oh, you didn't get it to turn. It's because it got caught up in the trees, the next area code. <laughs> no, we could use that. Our government could use him. <laughs> you don't, we don't need drone strikes, we just need him. <laughs> Dude, Anthony what the? from 800 just throwing over the bunkers. <laughs> do you, you know what, I'm a really good comic. I don't do comedy as well as you throw a disc. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Holly. He's in the middle. So far it's good. I know. Like the camera threw it into the bushes. I don't know what to do. Probably will get that. Oh, oh, actually, yeah. Bert found a disc that actually likes to slice for him. Oh. I'm going to call Anheuser for everyone except for Bert. It was good. It, was, it wasn't great. You can do better. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. Hey, that's full commitment on that throw, though. Little slippage on the foot, but still, arm came swinging. Kaiser, nice. let's hit and roll down. Look at it go. Nice. Yep, right to the middle. That's good. Chris, he's got enough distance to get there, I think. I think to right around 45 up the hill. And it's off. That looks like about a... That's awesome. I think it's inside 45. Oh, that's park. You yeah, are so, that is so You good. are so right. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> it's hard to tell how much we can get up the hill from the base, and we're at the base of the hill right now. Chris Dickerson just, that's, I would say, nearly 95% power. And her last name is Good. I can't remember her first name, but that's up. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. It's a very good shot. Pulling out the driver, going with the eagle. He's trying to make it. That's not oh, driven low. Highlight putt. Highlight putt coming. I kind of like that though. Everybody loves everybody loves long putts. I Nobody think. wants to see someone park a shot and no. tap in. No, unless it's like what AB did off the tee. Hey, that's a good. That's, that's good. good. Awkward side hill lie. 
Let's see if AB, yeah, AB is going to line up the forehand. More overstable than you would think. He does get the ante. It is coming out, though. And that's another highlight putt. Yeah, he's up at the top of the hill. I think he's going to be circle's edge. He's going he's gonna to have a look at it. I think that's us. You ready? Here we go. Bert, oh, let's go. Bert is getting it figured out. It's all about disc selection for this man. Yes, uh, it, it was is. right here. Look at that. He switched from the crank to the scorch. I think that was an excellent call. Oh, uh, I like my disc like I like my women. Unstable. <laughs> <laughs> and heavy. <laughs> and once again. Nice. The, Good job, the brother. The Kreischer, the machine. The He's the crusher right now. He's the one that's they're playing all his shots. Has anyone ever called you Bert Crusher? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it had nothing to do with disc golf, did it? Uh, no, it was when I was a kid. I love it. Yeah. Ooh. That's perfect. Ooh. Based it. Yeah. Great Based shot. It. Great this shot. This man knew what he was doing. Great yep. shot, Jason. That's pretty special. A lot of money raised here for the Paul McBeth Foundation. That's the whole reason we're out here today, obviously. Doing good for the sport. Calvin from about 30, <laughs> threw it about 30 feet. <laughs> He's 36 and he threw it about 31. Yeah. Let's, oh, go! let's go! On the what right. A that that came in with game. heat too. Nose up All right. from the chest. That was perfect. He literally has a tattoo of a basket on fire on his calf. He's making putts, I promise you. <laughs> All right, now the team of Bert and the... Oh, no. Playing out of turn. Interesting choice. Bert's asking his partner to bang it in. Let's... I can't... I want him to make it just so we have a nice reaction. Up. Oh, up. yeah! <laughs> That's why they call us partners! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was great. That was pure team golf, and that's a four. <laughs> that's a, four. That's a, that's a four. four for that team. That's incredible. Because Calvin Heimberg, number one player in the world, also just took a four. That is 100% correct. That Bert was... Kreischer, yes. you just tied the number one player in the world on a hole. Yeah, that's what I came here to do, you know? <laughs> I'm all about ties. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, everyone, be careful. There's a wasp bee nest over here. First off the tee box on hole number three is going to be Chris Dickerson and his partner. First off of the box, Jacob Jeffries. Yeah. A little more like this. And it's going straight right. It was understable Left and... Like <laughs> That's going to be a tough one to track down. I'm not going to lie. Jesus. So when you throw downhill, you go. You don't go up. You just go. Yeah. Chris just smokes us right down the middle. Wow. Jake. Nice to meet you. Calvin Heimberg. Is it Freya? Yeah. Treya Brown! Don't, don't be my apologist. Come on. Get up here. Nice throw. Oh, that yeah. was, you know what? If she had taken what you were talking on hole one and thrown it down, that would have been a perfect shot. Just a little bit too high. Putting a uh, little pressure on Calvin to keep this one inbounds. I'm calling it. I would love to have him throw this tee shot for me for the rest of my life. Yeah, seriously. Just. Off to the left side of the fairway, drifting right the whole way, right in the middle, solid 550 feet. He's gone. He's, he's out of here. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Oh, his partner's got a good Lead last name. I want to ride your coattails into glory. Think of the movie 300 when you throw. <laughs> It's turning, it's turning pretty! It's turning! Uh, it's a 
little bit too high, a little he bit too much hyzer. On this. <laughs> He's not feeling confident, but. Trying something a little new. I call this the Colorado Sling Blade. Colorado Sling Blade. All right. That was the Anheuser. Oh, hey, we Anheuser. Hey, you did it! You did it! And you learned the term and you used it properly. Yeah. I am so proud. Playing with Paul McBath, Marcus Ricker. How nervous do you think you'd be as an amateur getting paired up with one of the goats? Very. Very yeah. nervous. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Just need to keep that a little bit lower. I think it's the one mistake we've seen from all the amateur partners is that when we're going downhill, they've been just throwing it level. Got to get that nose down. Let's see what, uh, I'm guessing this is going to be right in the middle by Calvin about 40 short. You want Anthony? <laughs> can we sub him in to, can we see? Yeah. Where's AB? Let AB throw. After everyone's, after everyone's. Sorry, Cap. Wasn't trying to jump you. Next up, playing with Katrina Allen. Scott Pitcher. Let's go. Show him what you Scott. Scott had a stone cold killer face when he walked up to the tee. He ain't playing around. He, and that's why he just threw a dart. Oh, and this that is, is really nice. Yeah, this is that is really nice. I'll take that every single day of Good the tournament. Good shot. Nice shot. He didn't smile after he threw a great shot either. Wow. Look at this shot. This is a new, new Katrina Allen here. That was a wonderful shot. Okay, that was awesome. What a shot. And everybody wants to see yeah. how high this is. <laughs> oh my god. The one the one exception to the throwing at high roll is when you can get the disc to turn at height. Oh no. Oh my you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Oh my god. Oh my that is That was unbelievable. Do we have a rangefinder? Can someone shoot that? Are you guys ready for us? Yep. All right. I'll throw first. That's good distance. Nice shot, bounce. Bert. Don't go be long. It's not something I thought oh, I'd no, say today good. about <laughs> any of his shots, but he got it up there. It's safe. Cannon's got green light go to try to get something. Yeah, and that's going to be nice because he's going to be on the left side. He's going to stay safe. They'll be able to see the pin from there versus where Bert landed. It's going to be a completely blind approach. So I'm sure they'll be playing the second shot. I've seen a lot of people take second shots on this hole and try to go for maximum distance, but I've never seen anything within 100 feet of where that just landed. Is that the longest shot you've ever seen in person? I'm um, not in person because you and I have been to the desert before and seen seen the ones in the wind and the, on the flat ground. But on a course, I think so. On an actual disc golf course. He kept it in the middle of the fairway, 835 feet away. That's just just bananas. You think they're going to take Paul's? <laughs> I think they might be taking Paul's. Oh, no. Katrina Allen trying to get aggressive going for the pin. Goes OB straight. Didn't get to see her partner shot the yeah, it's already been established that he is definitely in in or out of bounds. Partner up, forehand turnover, not quite getting all the way left. Is it long enough to be in bounds? That's a questionable. He gets the big skip, and it ends up left, about pin high 30. If you recall, if you ever did see Macbeth's 1800 round on this very hole, he skipped up and hit the cage and almost dunked in nearly 400-foot throw-in for the big eagle. Oh, 
that oh. wind loves you, Preya. Preya for a breeze. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's in bounds, but it is not. But it still cleared the wall. Calvin's trying to make him. I mean, why not? Give the fans something to cheer about. Overturned in a bad way. That disc hits the limb. Chris Dickerson off to the perfect start, two through two. And it looks like he's going to be three through three. Showcase golf is suiting his style of play today. Looks like he's going with a nice putter approach here. Gets the nose up. I like that. Yeah, Coming that's good. That's going to be right in the circle and two people going at the same time. That's going to be circle's edge as well. Yeah, I mean, like, he, I, we've seen nothing but improvements through the three holes thus far. I'm here for it. Yeah. This is really nice, Pete. We should do this more often. <laughs> we haven't had to. He's been bailed out. Yeah, his partner's been tapping him out. He hasn't had to step up on the green yet. Okay. Anthony Brell, we've got to his drive here. We're going to shoot the, the trellis. Okay, it's not as far as I thought. It's only 792 feet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it wasn't 835. It was 792. So it was only nearly two football fields. No, it's no, it's almost nearly three football fields. Excuse me. He's been one of those kids that we've seen develop. His his form is his forehand and backhand is. He's he's been clocked at over 90 mile an hour for, which. Every, like the top throwers are getting like 70s, mid 70s. All right. Macbeth. Oh. The goat dropping it in. There's a reason they named the tournament after him. <laughs> He's over here to the right trying to avoid you so you can putt first. That's a good putting stroke, just a bit high. Yes, that, that had the height. I think with the right to left wind, it might have kept it up. And on calm day, that's dropping in. But it's OK, because you got Calvin on your team. When you got Calvin on your team, you're going to make your 25-footers. The top pros, 29-footers, are as easy of a thing as a layup is for a basketball player. There it is. Nice putt there. Yeah. Oh, I did it. I tempted him, and now he's actually going to do it. Burt Kreischer up for the putt, and he's in. Finger to the sky. He knows who to praise. <laughs> that is. It's about the celebration. That's what I believe in. Underperform, over-celebrate. Hole number 14. First off the tee box, playing with Calvin Heimberg, Larry Delamonte. Nice shot. Calvin's partner puts it down the middle. It gives Calvin the green light to get aggressive. Calvin ripping. Yeah. That is really far. Is it far enough? It's going to be putting. Calvin. How far is this hole? Oh, come on. I put my cigar out for you. <laughs> light this cigar again. Right this. Like. <laughs> oh, he gets the razzle dazzle in his name. I just want to see that. You got it on the first hole. It might not be the right place. Bert's partner. Nice. It's nice, over. Nice, nice. It is heading towards the crowd. I don't yell at all. I just get in here and do work. <laughs> what I'm going to try to do right now is keep my body upright and follow through with a lot of spin. There you go. That's fantastic. Yes. Oh, come on, come on, come oh, on. Oh, wow. 
Bert. It's Bert, Bert, Bert crushing slicers. Crushing, crushing slicers. <laughs> if we were serving pizza, I'd be good out here. <laughs> oh, whoa. AB no. trying to reach it, and he's gone right back to three's fairway. Hey, it's weird. That's how it's what happened to me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> win. <laughs> right. Representing the three one three. So that's what I took in the last three holes. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really good. And it kind of throws its way over to the left side, but ends up checking up safe. And Kat, is she going to lay down roller or air shot here? Looks like an air shot. Yeah. Slipped out early, but it's still far and... Inbounds. Next up, playing with <laughs> Kevin Jones. <laughs> Next up, playing with Chris Dickerson. Oh. Aaron Strickers. Oh wow! Looks like someone switched teams on me. Sandhill Crane unraveling the wings once again. This time, it's heading south for winter. He says he'll try his best, and his best is... So far, his best has been phenomenal today. That's another good one. Yeah. Mark, hold on one moment. Oh, my beef. <laughs> you need that. <laughs> So over, so yeah, overstable. Yep, let's get goes left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so when we say stable, we're basically it's misused term in disc golf, but stable should mean when it's thrown flat and hard that it just goes dead straight. Yeah, perfectly stable flight means it's not moving left or right. Understable means that the disc has uh, tendencies to go against its natural flight characteristics because all discs when thrown right hand backhand, they want to move left. Okay. But understable wants to move right, and overstable makes it want to go left, basically trying to get to the ground quicker. Okay. So overstable is really good for like, when you're throwing in the wind. So like, okay, so that's disc I just threw. If it had been an overstable disc, would it have come back around? Hey, grab me an overstable disc. Good luck finding that. The crank. The crank's been working. The scorch was nice when you threw oh, it I flat. I got a bottle, of bottle. thank you so much. The crank was good. So here, here's, okay, so here's something to think of. If you're gonna throw kind of choppy style, yeah. you should probably throw your crank. If you're gonna throw it flat across your body, then the scorch is gonna be pretty good for you. Yeah. Nice. Oh my Jesus goodness, Christ. makes it look so good, so easy. What's so, the nuke? So now if you're gonna throw the nuke, I would go back to that choppy Okay, form. all right, done, 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 yeah. done. Because then you're gonna get, what's gonna happen is your disc is gonna move out to the left and it's gonna finish to the right. All right. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Quick lesson. And I know you, I know Henry Childress, the, he was the best man at my yeah. wedding. He gave you a lesson. He did, and I was throwing so good, but I never paid attention to what disc I was throwing. I was just throwing it a certain way. We were out in Colorado and I was chop heaving it. Yeah. And I, who was my partner? Who is oh, hey, there you are. <laughs> where is you? Where are you at? Like we had who came? Who came out to? Someone came out to the. I forget now. Came out to the Super Bowl, and came out to the show. Forget who it was, and we had all these NFL players, and uh, oh, who the f was it? Was it? Uh, yeah. That wasn't an NFL player. 
No, no, no. It was a. It was a. I forget who it was. Now I don't know why my mind escapes me. We it was had a like, disc golfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A, a, a pro, like an, a champion. Oh. And we had a. No kidding. And we had a Christian McCaffrey and Gabe Davis. What? Oh, are we throwing? Hey, Christian McCaffrey. That's my boy from. Well, he used to be. Got traded to the 49ers. You go first. I'll just take a look at yours. We're from that little spot. Right back. What little spot? Okay. Ooh. All right, here we go. You ready? I just learned what overstable means. Let's see if it works the way it does in the book. Chops it. You got to chop it. Way to go, germ. You got to chop the it. Go. You threw that from your hip. Now try that the same exact throw with that disc. With the scorch? Yeah, but just throw it from your hip like you just did, like it was a gunslinger. Oh. Son of a <laughs> Is it the shirt? It's the shirt, dude. Yeah, let me tell you something. My body in slow motion is so disgusting. Google Burt Kreischer, Cleveland Indians first, or uh, Cleveland, whatever they're called, Guardians first pitch. It made me throw up. <laughs> it's great footage. Here's the thing. If you do take the shirt off, just clip this to your beard. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'll be able to continue. I need to do more chop on the other one. All right, a question. And then I saw that that one went that yeah. way. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so, I mean, all you got to do is just, I would say your best bet is to take that second disc and just try to throw a little bit more, like, finish upwards. Upwards. Instead of finishing downwards, yeah. if you finish upwards, you're going to keep that thing in the air more. Okay. Now, I got to ask, had, I'm sure at this point, you have seen the Bear Bite Disc promotional ads for no, what's Yo that? Bert, and they wanna, he wants to play a round of disc golf with you. No, I haven't seen it. I'm not online a lot, though. I post, but I don't read. You haven't seen 400 straight days. No. 400 straight days. Are you serious? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, oh. Calvin. Yeah, Calvin. Great shot. What time do you tee off tomorrow? Boom. Don't even need them. I have the greatest partners ever. <laughs> yeah, nice birdie. Let's go. Yeah, that was fun. Great drive. Birdie saved. Well done. And Bert's partner just high left. We're back to disc golf here as we are saying goodbye to one of our hosts, Paul Uliberry. You've got a signing. Very busy week for you. you got to get going. Paul, thanks for joining me. Yeah, this was awesome. As we see Bert with the last attempt of the putt, that's a pretty good lag putt. They're going to be able to tap that in, get out of here with a six. Yeah, double bogue. But you know what? Just being out here, man. This is so cool. Opportunity to show him bear bite disc golf's 400 consecutive days of trying to call out Burt Kreischer to get a one-on-one -on -one match. And Burt, for the first time, just saw that message. <laughs> That's hilarious. Here we go, looking straight at us. Putting is up. It is in. That's yeah. on the stripe. And is that, that was Calvin's partner? Yeah. What? Yes. Nice. Thank you. Chris Lady. All right. Plant one for us. Yeah, 
right, get back right. Or its partner goes a little bit long in the high grass, but looks like that's safe. You got it. Oh, Shut Bert. The that thing came out with some zip just a little bit early on the release. So good. Yeah, that was at least that felt good. Playing with Anthony Barella, Braden Nidifer. A little bit overturned, a little bit more height would have served that well, but still a good shot in the middle. AB, is he going to go over the top? Oh, All right. No. All right. No. Yeah, this is, this is what he lives for, folks. Pure showman. Oh, my God. That disc is very much lost, I would imagine. Did I hear it over there to the right? I saw some leaves fall down to the right. And we got a spotter immediately running, <laughs> like a first responder just <laughs> dipping to somebody whose leg just got severed. Jordan Witter! I'm liking these Great Lakes baseball jerseys. These things are sweet. DGLO. I, haven't, I didn't even realize. I thought that was a, or, a the tiger Tigers? jersey. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Cat, once again. Cat, we're loving that new forehand. It's not new. It's, it's not new? It's not new. How often have you been trusting on it like this, though? Like uh, Since my backhand fell to shambles. When was that? Uh, last two years. Kyle really? Winchman. Did you throw forehand off the three last year? Off the tee? No. Oh, the straightest Shut up. way from point A to point B is right through the trees. Buy a lottery ticket today. That gap is just <laughs> hit that same line inch wider than an actual disc. Oh, is it a vortex? A little shameless promotion. Chris Dickerson going for the late roller. Is it flippy enough? If that worked, that could be extraordinary. Chris hasn't missed a shot yet today. This has been awesome to watch. Calvin Heimberg, Ryan Perry. Matching the shirt to the hair, that is a rare combination. Going with the five inch inseam shorts, it's a bold choice. Takes a lot of confidence to pull off shorts that short. But he's done it. I think Calvin gets a, maybe a greedy line. He's going to go straight at the pin. Oh, I like it. No! No! Oh, my God. No is right. No is right because that was absolutely blistered intentionally. Can you imagine? Can you stand right here, Bert? Stand right here. Look at that line. Now imagine throwing a disc 80 miles an hour and then hitting that gap only to have a dumb branch go, no. I couldn't walk through that gap if I was drunk. <laughs> a perfect call. You can't even imagine what that shot. I think we'll play my uh, partner's shot. Man, I dotted that tree. I think, I think that that's fair. I think obviously Feldberg has more titles. He was better known for winning versus Calvin's maybe more known for the consistency right now in his career. But yeah, but, but he, I think Calvin leans on a destroyer a lot more than someone like Felberg ever did. Felberg had to shape them and do all these weird shots with them. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like 1A, 1B right now. So, so with, it, with that being said, Calvin doesn't have to do a lot more to be one solo. Our sport's also a lot longer nowadays. It requires... You, you were, you, fairways are kind of gone. Fairways yeah. are kind of gone. Perfect. Left to right action fairway driver. And we've got a forehand hysering deep into the right side wood line. If people want to give Calvin eagles, I know people have given He doesn't throw orange eagles. It's a very common misconception. They're just 
pink that have faded to orange. They get that fleshy color. Yes. So if you want to give them your 11 times or whatever ones he throws. Pink. It's it's actually, they're actually labeled 12 times, oh, but it was a, a special run that I think that he really oh. resonates with. It's actually a similar run That's to the one fun. that I have in my bag. That are these flat top, oh. kind of like opaque champion them. ones. Those are the ones that he really likes a lot. Pink. Pink. Even with Calvin's tree kick, he remains right next to his partner somehow. <laughs> Approach shot is short and in the tall bush line. Calvin stepping up with his Toro, and he said he matches it. It's going to be a little bit longer, maybe on the backside, probably in the middle now, actually. <laughs> Guys, I don't normally call out my greatness, but I feel like I'm about to do something spectacular. You've got the wrong disc in your hand. That's okay. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, because... Oh, you're right. Throw the pink one for me real quick. What pink? That's really gone. Throw the other one. Hey, we have another one? Yes. Those, those, no, 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 no. He's, he's got Ray-Bans. He's got eye protection. Okay. He's fine. Here we go. <laughs> oh, fairway. It's going to roll. <laughs> God, I felt so confident. It's just like when I lost my virginity. His partner did tell him, don't That's you worry. Partner. That's my partner. Don't you worry, Damn child. It. Heaven's got a plan for what you as he parks shot. it with a forehand turnover. Yeah, man. Great shot. We had the Slim Reaper out here finding all of Bert's discs. Where's he at? Where's your searcher? He's going to need to put a missing persons on that last one. <laughs> Dude. Oh, we got an overhand. Thumber. Oh, I love that shot. Chris Dickerson's approach shot once again on the money. He has been all over it today. There you go. All right, now I gotta go find mine. Oh, glitch? Oh, oh. good try. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks for playing. Absolutely. Oh, where did the second one I threw go? Where that blue, Bert? Oh, the second one you threw like went down and it curled around the corner there. Do you see my second one, Pete? You guys see birds? Is open, by the way. They make it all the way up here. See? I try to tell you it was the right disc, and Paul's like, no. No, it's like nice. <laughs> yeah, I know, but look where it is. Cameras weren't on. It was better than the first one. <laughs> Straddling the putter, a unique way to get your foot behind the line <laughs> is to have neither foot technically in proper position. Bert Kreischer gets the straddle putt up and over the rim and in. <laughs> First off of the box, playing with Anthony Varela, Nick Gunzer. Let's go, Nick. A bit overturned. Don't worry, we'll be both looking in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> the new island 16. AB is going down the middle with a putter, and that looks really good. Just don't hit the high branches. Yeah, you're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. Wow! Wow! Playing with Katrina Allen, Chris Canoe. Chris Canoe trying to row the boat down the middle of the fairway, and that is off to the beaches. Onto the. I don't know what he. <laughs> yeah, that is off. Off the embankment of the river. Chris Canoe. Oh, it's low. Too low. Good Dang angle, it. just too low. It's, yeah, it just need to be higher. Next up, Chris Dickerson. playing with Chris Dickerson, Blake Weber.
That actually might be in bounds. It's going to be just left and short of being in bounds. Let's go slice the chicken. The slice of chicken has thrown an, another Come dart. On. Come on! This guy is playing absolutely fuego disc golf right now. All aboard to Aceville. Let's go. Choo choo. Choo choo. Rob Weber. Rob Weber coming out here looking like a baseball umpire. Hopefully throwing some strikes. Yes, good try, overturn. Bert said, I'm gonna join you there in a moment. Let's see if he doesn't. Heinberg going putter down the middle and that gets low, it's money. Just a little too high and that's gonna be out of bounds. I'm playing with Bert Kreicher. Kyle Klingsman. Let's scorch it. Let's scorch it. Oh, we got double scorch action coming double to the Kyle. Looking like he's going to be flipping up a backhand. And that is a good looking line. It's going to be OB right unless it gets lucky. It's going through. It's going through. It's going through. I th think I heard some late tree action. All right. I know the line I want. Son of a, there we go. <laughs> the power is there, folks. The power is there. We just have to harness the power, and then we're going to find a good disc golfer Son one of, of these days. I, I guarantee it. Is anyone else starting to hurt? <laughs> go for it. If you miss, I'll lay it up. Oh, dang. Is it safe? Safe. Stay. Want me to go for it? It don't matter, right? Okay. Calvin, I'm trying to putt, and you're yapping about whose turn it is. Jesus. I'm totally kidding. I'm just. Jeez. You get you get certain passes. Oh, uh, can I tell you, considering that you're in, I want to tell you what my strong suit is, a hard putt, okay? The harder I throw it, the more chance I have of making it. Fuck it. Sorry, sorry, but we're close. Smart play. There's a, there's a camera guy right there. Let's throw the flip roller at his toes. <laughs> if I had made it, it really would have banged those chains, right? <laughs> Very few people lose their the putter playing disc golf. <laughs> We've got how many drives safe here? We've got this right here is a putt for birdie for the Team Barella, and we have a bullseye miss, one of the rarest sightings in disc golf. But let me tell you, from personal experience, it does happen. AB able to tap it in. And Chris Dickerson is allowing his partner to receive all the glory for his hard work. That's a good teammate right there. Chris, have you parred a hole? Thank you. Thank you for parking it. Yeah, Chris is absolutely perfect so far. <laughs> Playing with Katrina Allen, Blake Weber. Back to back. Rip it. All right, try my best. Blake, a lot of power, a lot of left. It's going to find OB, but that is so far. Oh, good try. So, so far. It was close to being far enough to be inbounds. Out here rocking the AB jersey, looking stylish. And he's actually got the same bag I think AB's wearing, too. We got twins over here. Sorry. Cat's drive looked great, but it just It didn't look great. Nothing about it was great. Just managed to find the left side OB. See if we can get our first inbounds drive.
That is absolutely ripped. It's going to be right side in the high bushes, unless it got in the backside. It may be. All right, well, he's in bounds, which is the first we've seen so far in this one. Oh, he's going super big late turn. If it keeps holding, it's yeah, it's going to be super good. Way up the fairway. Chris Dickerson, once again, utter perfection. Skylar Snow up to the tee. Got to follow up Chris Dickerson's perfect drive. Bob, if you start saying nice things about me, but pay me 50 bucks, I'll, I'll do it. I'm, I'm cheap, baby, let's go. <laughs> Calvin loving CD's line that's overturned, but it might get down quick enough to be in the fairway. Yeah, it ends up being right where you want to be. Playing with Burt Kreiker, Jason Stewart. Yeah. Jason up to the tee, out here in a Guardian Aliens jersey, looking sweet. Shout out to Jared Black. This is looking pretty good. Is it going to get to the ground before going OB? I think so. Yeah, that's looking really nice. That right there is awesome. They call him the obstetrician because he delivers. That was a really good joke. That was a good joke. That's a f***ing obstetrician. He <laughs> delivered? That's f*** you guys. <laughs> Is that what you say at your shows? <laughs> All right. OK, sure. <laughs> you should have done the nuke on that one. Roll, 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 roll. Oh, the yellow one's goner? Next up, playing with Anthony Barella. I still liked it. Jason, uh, he's a holly. <laughs> you don't see it. He's a holly skyward. Nice, nice. That's going to be on hole one's fairway. Somehow the coach is still giving AB the green light go to go for the green. This hole's only 755. We've already seen it though, 793. <laughs> it just doesn't come out of the hand faster for anyone. <laughs> like, even errant throws are impressive to watch. It's like watching Randy Johnson throw balls. It's still impressive. 6'10", throwing 100 miles an hour. 6'4 and a half. I'm saying Randy Johnson was 6'10". I know, I know, I know. I'm just giving you crap for calling me 6'6". Six, six so Dude, you're, as clo you're close enough to 6'6 six, six that I, I count you in the 6'6 six, six club. All right, I'll take it. You know how tall he says he is? He says 5'11". And a half. <laughs> and one half. 5'18". <laughs> you should do this when people see They're like, you're taller than I thought you could do. 5'11 and a half. I guess I am 5'18". And we got to go up this little freaking... Dang. Shut up. No, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. All right. The Undertaker? Yeah, dude. That's Ribbed. your new nickname in disc golf. Ribbed for her pleasure. Here we go. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, you're right. You got me. Yeah. On hole 17, we find my desk. You got two more holes to play. Yeah. You got two more holes. Like I said, he's got the power. He's, the power is there. <laughs> it's just a matter of finding the right disc and then getting rid of that flutter. Yeah. The flutter is the hard thing to get rid of. Putting the right disc in his hand, we the can figure that out. The... Yeah, so flutter is just happening because you're not getting enough spin on the disc. So oh. on hole one, when uh, somebody asks you for advice and yeah. Kat said more spin. Yeah. The more spin you put on the disc, the less likely it is to flutter, which is going to cause that disc to 
I said Thank you, a bad word. Thank you for making us feel normal. I feel seen. Wait, where's the hole? The partner is coming through, keeping oh, oh, oh. it up there. And that's a long range putting range. Like, I'll make that for you. Did you get your disc? Uh, no. Let's find that. All right, we're up to Team Heimberg's Lie on the right side of the fairway. This looks like it's going to be a slightly blind right there in the 280 foot range uphill 40 feet to the pin. Oh no. A little bit overturned, but that's going to be in the high nasty stuff. Calvin going trusty champ eagle. And that is looking really nice. It's going to be pretty much perfect. Great shot. Maybe you might be off the fairway, but I can tell you this right now. No one has ever gotten to this part of the not fairway faster. That thing was absolutely ripped out of his hand. Get up. Nice shot. Let's go. <laughs> the fing Undertaker! Me? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Too far. We're going we'll get a kind of semi-tomahawk, semi-flick roller yes, approach. That is an interesting effort there. Chris is drive so far down the fairway that you want to see an overhand got to come up with a creative approach here. I'm see if Chris is inspired by his partner's technique. Try to keep the perfect round going. It's gone. Thumber a little bit heavy on the turn, or is it going to work perfect? Well, it really is all about how it rolls when it gets to the top of the hill there. Tomahawk, yeah. It went way, way up and it didn't go forward at all. Aw. Dang it. Cool. Birdie putt coming up short. And we move on. Jason, he's a holly. No pressure at the edge of the circle, putting uphill. Team Anthony Barella putting for the birdie. Go. Just low on the putt. All right. Yeah, last week. A, B, low off the cage. All right. Yeah, that was fun. Heimberg team low with the first putt. Can Calvin get his putt over the, over the rim or is Team Dickerson gonna remain the only team with a birdie again? Heimberg under the band. Turn to 400 for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's okay. I'll miss it too. All right. Don't forget to straddle both sides of the disc. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Online. The delayed foot fault. Impressive technique. <laughs> That's crazy. Three times now, huh? And Dickerson's team in for birdie. Once again, Chris remaining perfect out here today. What an afternoon for this man heading into the tournament. You love to see that kind of disc golf. Stacy Taylor, she's playing with Chris Dickerson. Let's see if he changes his mindset here. This has gone OB. Are we playing the long or short? The short, oh, all of a sudden, Chris's strategy has changed drastically. He is going DGA. 
Walnami? What is it? Bonsai. Bonsai up. Oh, little surf in the wave is the bonsai. Next up, playing with Calvin Heimberg, Nina Everson. Nina Everson, disc golf pins, ladies and gentlemen. If you've bought a disc golf pin, you've bought something that she has created. And it's deflected off a tree, off the ground, rolled around, and inbounds. If you're not nervous, it means you don't care. I love seeing the nerves. Heimberg has got it high enough that it doesn't cut roll OB. A real shank thrown by Calvin. Kenny B. <laughs> oh my God, that's Calvin. You've had you haven't had a microphone, so you haven't been able to defend yourself. Obviously, I'm kidding about the shank, but. What does uh, being a part of events like this mean, for you, mean to you? Um, you know, they're a good time. Uh, I wasn't really sure exactly what this event was until I showed up today, but uh, it's been fun. I think I know this Undertaker pretty good. Bird Crusher, most confident person throwing his third shot ever with a disc. <laughs> Straight OB. Too much? I just heard someone go, ah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut a spear! When it goes on the other side of the white line, you don't have to get it. <laughs> <laughs> get off. Safe. Off the stump and it's safe. safe. Wearing the NASA inspired disc golf shirt. A very cool shirt indeed. Maybe going backhand roller. Oh backhand my roller. god, this guy is just absolute showman. I drilled the banners. Oh my gosh, you out drove the fairway? I think it just went before I heard the banners. Oh god. Andy Miller. Andy Miller, you're up next. We got some more. Uh, <laughs> because Bert's a busy man, he knows how to crunch in a lot in a small amount of time. Oh gosh, I did it. <laughs> Off the first tree, in bounds, but. Uh, about 37 feet. So <laughs> I am <laughs> tired. <laughs> okay, so Bert, when we're going uphill, yeah. we tend to throw more understable discs. Remember the discs that fly yeah, yeah, against yeah, yeah, the yeah. natural... That's what I was, I was trying to take that overstable disc and throw it understable, thinking it'll go right, and then I can just chuck it, but I, I went in between yeah. the trees and not where I wanted to go. So in, in, in this situation, I would have put a more understable disc in your hand than the, than the Undertaker. And when we go downhill, we do the exact opposite. We tend to go a little bit more overstable uh, than if the, sh if the hole were flat, we would go a certain disc, downhill, more overstable, uphill, more understable. Yeah. So. I can't wait for hole one. Hole one's coming up, you get redemption. We get to see everything that you've learned today all culminated with one throw. I wouldn't be shocked if I drove the uh, cage. Oh, I think, I think that's definitely coming. Trina laying down the roller. This is cutting left. Yes. Disc Golf Pro Network safe. has been hit. Is that the same thing you hit? Yeah, the big tree. Yes. If you throw a sidearm up around the corner, we'll have a long look. Like an 80 footer. Good turnover, controlled left side. It's where you want to be. It's hard to roll uphill like that. It's a that. good shot. Nice, safe shot. Bert Crusher obviously throwing a second right now. And that being said, you got the right disc in your hand for this yeah. one. Here, I'll give you your space, brother. Going over the branches. That's going to sit down in bounds. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Because it's coming right at you. I don't know if I'm confident <laughs> enough to stand here. 
This is oh jeez. <laughs> Somehow he's managed to throw a late cutting cut roller with the forehand right over the cameraman's cabeza. <laughs> that was inches from a hospital visit. I needed less ground and more air on that one. <laughs> uh, if you come right here, you can see it. It's on the, the right side. I think that's in the middle. This one's for you, Bob. How's her back? Thank you. Yeah. It doesn't sound out of bounds, Bob. Chris is inside C1 to continue his round of perfection. Pretty amazing when you say that Chris Dickerson has been able to perform every hole perfectly so far. Katrina, this one's for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nina Everson, ladies and gentlemen, disc golf pins, and she just pinned it. Yeah, Calvin, nice shot, but not nearly as cool as Nina's. Katrina going high for him. Maybe he's trying to spike it in there. Oh, and hitting some high branch. Good approach thrown there. Caddy. Bob. Oh. Caddy. <laughs> <laughs> Right side flip up, absolute oh. beauty. Nice. Great shot thrown there. Wow. AB's probably gonna lay this up. Do it. Oh, just a smart play from Anthony. <laughs> it's all right. Seven. <laughs> yeah, you too, that was a great shot. Here is Bert, Team Bert's lie after the intentional flick roller. Totally how he drew it up. Shot looks a little left, but it's going to sit in bounds. Bert, one track mine, picks up disc, and that's the one he's going to go with. Oh, sh <laughs> first, first hole. All right. You want me to go first? All the pressure on you? Because you know I'm going to miss it. Here we go. We're making it tight. Bert Kreischer! Once again! Guys, I'm going to pick this up real quick. Proving why he is at least the third best putter <laughs> on the comedy tour. <laughs> I have never sunk a putt ever playing. I don't even putt when I play. <laughs> Would you agree top three putters on the comedy tour? Yeah, easy, easy. Top, top three? I would say I'm number one. I don't think anyone else plays disc golf. <laughs> you don't get Tom out there playing? Oh, yeah, yeah. The disc don't fit in his Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> He's too big time. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's a funny man. Chris Dickerson somehow battling the nerves of perfection and executes another perfect putt. The man refuses to take pars. Oh, just a little tentative. <laughs> you haven't had, you haven't needed to. Your partner hit the putt a whole one. Yeah. AB after the quote unquote safe drive is in for his three slash four. And just off left side chains, Katrina Allen left to clean up the work. And oh. good up and down motion, just a bit too high. I got us. And 
Nina Everson right outside bullseye for the cleanup birdie, and she slams it home. Yes, with defiance. Playing with Calvin Heinberg, first off the box, Jordan Winters. All right, the shot's around the corner and safe, giving Calvin the green light to get a good drive off here with his rock. That looks nice and turned over. I don't think it's going to be that short. That's a good drive. I think he's going to like that one. Maybe. Next up, I don't know. playing with Bert Kreischer, Gideon Morgan. Gideon Morgan. Let's go, Gideon. Right. Woo! Come on, buddy. We need to drive here. We need to drive here. Lining up the forehand. Future world champion here. Ripping Anheuser right down the middle. Bert could totally learn something from that. Nice drive. What do you got? I'm going. I'm going, Undertaker. Great job. Great job, brother. Great job. Instead of throwing it out there flat, throw it down. Throw it down. I got down. It. I got it. Down. Where is he? All right, a little down, a little bit of a chop. Come back around. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, my turn, God. Turn, turn, turn. I didn't tell him to do a chop that time. I didn't tell him to chop that time. I chopped it down on my own. Yeah, he, thank you. Give this. We're here. Playing where's yours, where's big Caddy? Guy. Next up, playing with. Keep, Paul just, come here. Matt. Hold on. Come here. We're playing yours, Michael big guy. Great Campbell. Great how many discs have you lost this round? I've lost a lot of discs. This is ridiculous. I don't have anything to recommend anymore. Big Beth going turnover, but not getting it to turn over. Chop that one. Oh, it's stable. When when everyone's thrown, go ahead and give Next up, give that. Fox the, playing with Katrina Allen. Derek Sylvester. Derek Sylvester. Teeing off with Katrina Allen on the final hole. That has got some good looking. Is it holding? It's going to come out of it a little bit. Is it going to go out of bounds? Oh, oh yeah. wow. That's a great line. It was a good starting the angle, wind. just a I little like bit it. too much over stability at the end. Cat going back to the forehand. Nice, driven, wide, heisering back to the middle. That's a good shot. Next up. Playing with Chris Dickerson, Matthew Tyler. Matthew Tyler, a man with two first names. He can't quit with first names. Wearing the scary clown logo. He's got this thing turned over. If it can get past the initial corner, it's going to be good. They're saying get in the hole. They're giving him claps. That is a pro level shot here from the man with two first names. <laughs> Chris Dickerson doesn't really need a throw to finish with perfection. This is the go nine for nine. Chris Dickerson has been on the mark today. I'm dead serious. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, all right, I'm going to throw one more. I'm going to throw one more. I'm going to chop the shit out of this. We got a force. More or less what? More or less left arm. All right. <laughs> you sound like my therapist. What is that? Force. Who is helping him pick this? Oh, 
I told him to put it down the hill. That thing came out, immediate nose up. Hey guys, 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 let's just let's just take a walk. One more, one more. One more, one more, one more, one more. Hades. Oh, Hades, Hades. This is the one. This is the one. I know. Oh! I got around the corner. Is that, was that the basket I heard? <laughs> right now, Gideon is talking to his dad about his shot shape as he threw his flick down the hill. And I love that he's able to discern how the disc moves a little bit too much to the left, cut rolled, and he thinks it might have gone out of bounds, but it's the passion that I'm really drawn into. And uh, Gideon's got that in droves. It's cool to see. Gideon, is this really you? I don't know. We're I'm, we're still walking. Yes, Gideon, you are what inbounds, a buddy. Baller. That is so cool. It's better than my first shot. <laughs> it's better than your any shot, Bert. I'm sorry. It's better than say. any of my shots. <laughs> I should have teamed up with him. Yeah. What time you get out of preschool? <laughs> Gideon's forehand. Oh my gosh, that is a thing of beauty. Heading to the right side, stays in bounds. That was awesome, man. Hey, get in, get in. Uh, watch where mine goes. Okay? Hey, you want your Undertaker? Yeah, yeah, we got, I got another Undertaker. Oh, okay. I got Undertakers all over the place. All right. Oh, he's figured it out. He has figured it out. That might go in. Oh, my gosh. He get saved in. the best for last. That's what teamwork looks like, buddy. From job, nearly 300 feet out, puts it 20 feet away. Team Macbeth from OB. First up, it's going to be left and outside C1. Oh, Paul already threw it to two feet? Okay, I missed Macbeth's approach, which apparently hit the base. Well, it's the same exact result. You still claiming Huntington these days? Well, it depends. It's like if you ask where I'm from, I'm from Huntington, but if you ask where I live, I live in Florida. Team Allen going for the bank shot. Smart play. Those trees are up there for that bank play specifically. I'm going to run it for all the marbles. Katrina Allen is running it right now. She is trailing Chris by one stroke. She's got to make this to win the title. Yeah, suck it, Chris. <laughs> Chris. <Aww. laughs> off the base, cat. Talking crap and delivering a great shot at the same time. Hey, thanks nice for playing. Job. Yeah, nice meeting you. It's going to be an interesting assortment of cow and duck noises inserted at the right time. It's going to be up to our audience to discern exactly what's going on. I do not envy the editors at this moment. <laughs> do we know what we're doing? Are we just standing? Okay, everyone just thinks that there's something going on? Okay. For the Paul Macbeth Play With the Pros Championship on the line, he's got six putts. That he's got to make one of the next six putts to win this thing. Heinberg does come up short. He's got an obstructed 56-footer coming up. Low ceiling, drives it off the cage. Continuing the ways of his partner. This time it lands on Chris for the nine under. It is, Calvin. Extra pressure laid on from his buddy Calvin Heimberg as Chris embarrassingly draws nothing but air. <laughs> Team Kreischer, we got Gideon up first to finish with a par and tie all the other pro teams. This is a pretty cool moment. Gideon, line up the forehand. The putt is up and just off right. All right, Gideon, this is for us. Straddling the mark once again. Foot fault called. He gets to try it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get him to putt again. <laughs> Tap us in, Gideon. So it's just a four for Kreischer to finish off here. But an impressive shot to get to the putt from 315 feet out. Chris missed his putt for birdie. 
and T. Macbeth in for the bogey. Dickerson's partner just a bit low. Thanks, Nate. Chris in for eight under. Kind of a disappointing eight under, if you ask me, but nonetheless, he is in and his round is over. Obviously, incredible performance from him today. Heinberg trying to finish off with a little foot putt. Oh, yeah, nothing but chains. Guys, please make way for Gideon. All right, close us out strong. All right. Oh, getting just a bit high. And so is Bert. <laughs> oh, Bert Kreischer with just a small falling putt Great here in the job, final buddy. hole. Perfect. Perfect. And that's going to complete <laughs> Got coasted. our event, raising money for the Paul McFeth Foundation. Give it up for Bert, Paul, Katrina, Anthony, Chris, and Calvin. Over $10,000 raised for the Paul McBeth Foundation. Who won, Chris? Yeah. No one's keeping score. Bert won. I'll take it. I'll take the win. I'll Bert take the win. I'll take the win. First Disc Golf Pro Tour event and win the same day, Bert Kreischer. Thank you so much. Thank surprising you. winner. Nobody thought he had a chance when he started or by Great the way job, he guys. played, but he ended up coming what? out the winner somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. That was funny. It was funny. Guys, thank you. Thank you, guys. What are we going back up there now? Let's go back up top. And then we're going to play holes 15 through 17 <laughs> in the dark. In the dark. Oh, yeah.